parts are in. And first, connectors. MIDI connectors. It's probably about time that I get some MIDI connectors and have them available, possibly for PCB projects, both for receiving and generating MIDI controls. One possible idea would be to take a MIDI file, maybe load it from an SD card, and send the MIDI commands out to various things, whether it's a drum machine or a keyboard with its own sound bank, and be able to play back the files. Or I could read in MIDI commands from some other controller and use something like an ESP32 to play back stored sound samples. But I haven't done any Arduino MIDI stuff before, so this will be something new. This is integrated circuits. I already know what kind. It's ULN2803 because I looked up the tracking. Those are densely packaged. And the 2803 is an 8-channel relay or solenoid type inductive load driver with a Darlington transistor pair inside for each of eight channels. I recently used those on this relay solenoid driver board, so I ordered these to restock in advance and I used up the few I had. I may be using a lot of this kind of stuff over the next while, so now I have enough. Something else I plan to use very soon and use things like this for relays. And I hope there's 25 in here. Looks like it. Five by five. And these are supposed to be the same as this one I recently got from Mauser that I've been trying to become familiar with. These EA2 little relays are dual coil latching relays and they are low signal level relays. So whatever way the pinouts go, it's double pull, double throw, and then there's two relay coils, one to set and one to reset the position. And you only need a momentary pulse to either open or close the contacts, and it will just hold that position until you use the other coil to set the contacts in the other position. Other than if there may be some extreme movement, Maybe the coils can change position, but what this basically means is if we want to turn on the relay, we just send a momentary pulse and then it's going to be on even when we take away power to the coil. So if we have to drive a lot of these at once, it's a lot more power efficient and there's less heat generated in the relay and everything is just more ideal. This is an integrated circuit, and according to the tracking, it is the Atmega 16U2, which I ordered because I have a couple of projects coming up that I could really make use of maybe an Arduino Pro Micro so that I can get USB capability for human input devices like a mouse or a keyboard, but of course, with supply as well as cost being questionable, I happened to find this 16U2 chip, and just for maybe a single PCB project, that should still allow me to get up and running with a USB input device. So now I just have to figure out how to keep this from getting lost on the bench somewhere until I'm ready to use it. And these PCB adapter boards, as the description implies, should help me with a little prototyping if I can get this out. So these are adapter boards to go from something like a quad flat pack to a through hole dip in finer pitch and less finer pitch depending on how close together the chip pins are. So while I'm designing an actual PCB for a square chip like this, I can maybe try to use something like this and get it on the breadboard. So that should be easy enough to hand solder. It's not the finest pitch I see. So yeah, I've got options now. And I can keep making little projects like these that use various relay drivers and relays and some audio jack related stuff. Possibly get some MIDI involved in all of this. I'll be busy for a while. And Princess Auto had a sale recently, so I bought some things, including a cheap flimsy tripod, because it's not going to be doing anything rugged, like holding a DSLR camera, 
but it's perfectly suitable for holding a B-roll filming camera on a phone or a tablet or some other lightweight camera. And since I'm getting set up in the new work area this past year, I have a lot more workspace available and I have more tables to work on, so I bought a couple of cutting mats. And I could still use more, but I'll see how it goes with these. And finally, you can never have too many part storage trays. Everything still really is a mess, but at least it's an organized mess. And I'm gradually sorting parts out. I'm putting up all kinds of shelving, wire hanging racks, various hooks to hang cables off of to keep them separated and organized. Thanks to Patreon supporters and channel supporters for making all this possible. Thanks for watching.